Our next guest is one of the most interesting. I always say when she's on the show, she's a very interesting person uh, as it comes, not only the character that she plays in, in Emmerdale, but because of what and who she is in real life. Now, last night, there the scene was set. She was all set to walk down the aisle for the 17th time. <laughs> but what happened? Well, uh, she ditched her husband yes. to be and left the village. Off to she Australia. Went in a off to Australia. Off to Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will we ever see her again? Um, so, as they say in the song, time to say goodbye. And uh, we, want, we want to ask uh, very shortly Emmerdale's most glamorous resident why that was. Let's have a look. I'm Bernice Blackstock. How'd you do? Well, she's all you'd ever want. She's the kind I'd like to fault and take to be. I will never forgive you! I am not, she under any circumstances, getting on that time. She's got pace. She's a why don't we get wasted? Could you? <laughs> don't have a boyfriend at present, so I won't be expecting any nocturnal guests. If that puts your mind at rest. Talking about Bernice! Bernice, what are you doing? Don't marry her. Have me. Dee needs me. Her dad's had a car accident and I can't let her fly to Australia on her own. I can't marry you tomorrow. <laughs> if you follow Samantha on social media, on Twitter, you'll have seen the reaction uh, summed up beautifully by Becca, who says, uh, last night's episode made me cry. We're going to miss seeing you on our screens, but excited to see your new ventures, which we'll talk about very shortly, Samantha. Um, and last night's um, episode is important to us here on this morning because uh, our very own Sharon Marshall oh, yes. wrote... She yes. wrote your exit. She, she was the she architect wrote, of she it. She wrote one of them, yes, the first one she wrote. Mm -hmm. So we so we obviously sat and watched it together. So that was really nice. And we're saying this, um, there on social media, people saying, oh, I was in tears. Did you cry? I mean, how <laughs> emotional was it for you? <laughs> Glad to no, I didn't, I didn't cry. Oh, God, I had to do so much crying on the actual, you know, filming it. But, no, it's weird. I don't like watching myself anyway. I haven't really watched any of the exit story, but I did watch last night's, you know, just yeah. to sort of... Close the door on it. So why like. is that's the question? Why but the door is not totally closed. The door. She's only gone to Australia. Yeah. I know she Australia. Could... Yeah. Well, I just felt you know um, it was t it was the right time. I've been thinking about it for a couple of years, and I, I like a lot of actors. I've got itchy feet, and I just thought I need a change. I want to, I want to play something a bit more gritty. Uh, I want to do some other stuff. You know, there's so many things out there. So. Hopefully, you and know. Do they discuss with you, you know, do you want us to kill you off or we want to kill you off or we'd like you to come back? Do you ever get any part of being involved in this no, the story? No, no. I mean, I, I said, obviously, I, I don't mind what what they did because I think if you're saying you're going, you can't then say, oh, don't kill me, though. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't have minded if they'd done that, but they wanted to leave it open. Um, mm. So that that's really nice, you know, that mm. she's not yeah. dead. Well, all this acting stuff we could talk about till the cops come. <laughs> there is Eamon's no doubt. Really there's no. In. Well, I'm, I'm really interested in witchcraft, right? Oh yes. And, and yes. What you did. Now I'll tell you. Here's a very interesting thing Samantha did. Samantha put a love spell on the man she's married to, so that she could, so they, they would be attracted. Is that right? Well, I didn't didn't actually put it on him. Um, I, I did a I did a love spell to, to ask the universe for the right person to, uh -huh. to come along. And why was my was I with Ruth at that stage? <laughs> <laughs> with his name in the mix at all. Yeah, that, I didn't put any names in any mix because you can't, you can't, you know, specify somebody. You, mm. you, you can write down the uh, traits that you want them to have, you know, and the attributes, things that you think are important, but you can't say, I want that person, that person. to fall in love yeah. with me. Um, <laughs> and, and Sharon Marshall credits you with uh, her being a mummy. Well, yeah, I, I, I gave her a, a change of luck charm, which she which she used to, to help along, obviously, the, oh, I, the IVF. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah she, that was us last night. You still see Sharon regularly, don't you? Yeah, it? she's lovely, and she's got a lovely family, and Betsy's absolutely gorgeous. Yes. I got a cuddle and a smile, so mm. I was... So, this so you happy. call yourself... No, wait, just to stick on this... You, I was are going you, to ask uh, about Wiccan Witch. Yeah, are you, are you an official witch? I mean, my wife's a witch, but that's unofficial. <laughs> that's like a term Stop of endearment. <laughs> that I use towards it. She knows it's true. It's She's true. of the black variety, you yeah, know, the sort of true. black witch. She's a nice witch, I think. Are you a white well, witch? Yeah, I mean, there's no such thing, really, as black or white 
-hmm. which um, basically in in Wicca you're you're harnessing nature the power of nature really to ask for the things that you want and if you tried to do a bad spell or, or had bad intentions it, it just comes back on you threefold the power of three and how long have you been involved in this kind of spiritual Oh, side and, and was it something you've, you think you've always had? Yeah, always. I've always been interested in that, really. I mean, that that's kind of what what's it inspired me in a way to to write my first book, mm. my first children's book, and that's all about sort of witches and and magic. But it's also set within a domestic setup and sort of inspired by my own children. What, like bewitched, so, where she wiggles her nose? Kind like of. Sort of kind yeah. Of. Yeah. <laughs> love yeah. Oh, I know, it's brilliant. And she was called Samantha, wasn't she? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's very true. So have you written your children's book? Is it I've, I've written two, actually. The first one, which is called Rosemary and the Witches of Pendle Hill, um, is my literary agent has sent it out to publishers, so I'm really, really hoping that... Never mind that, that'll be a film. It will be a, a film. Series. I feel it's going to be a film. Yeah. Have you put that out to the universe? I have, and I, I, I just... Before I wrote it, I could see it very much as a film. So, you know, if there's any publishers out there that haven't received it yet that want to, then get in touch with Sylvia at PFD Agency. Gosh, yeah. gosh. Or a little documentary series, you know, maybe something about looking at the supernatural or... Yeah, that, that would be good, wouldn't it? That would be really interesting. Yeah, it would be very interesting. So I'm, so I'm really loving the whole writing side, though, because it's a chance to be so creative and to actually, you know, you can lose yourself in those stories. And, and I think, as an actor, you, you, you remain a bit of a child anyway, don't mm. you? And... But look, you said goodbye to Bernice before. Yes. And you, you opted out of Emmerdale for ten years or so. Um, is this a total goodbye or you can never say never? Well, I've, I've so many times I've said, oh, I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't do that, and then you end up doing them. So never say never, but for now... The door's closed, yeah. Maybe next time we see you, it'll be to discuss your Hollywood blockbuster Ooh, movie, yes, The Witches that would be of good. Pendle Hill. Yes. That would be very nice. Just let's see, can you wiggle your nose? I don't know. Yeah, that's not bad. That'll do. Oh, that's, 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 that's good. Mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah. That's because your nose has got... <laughs> Your nose is fat, too, I told you. Got yeah. fat nose now. Fat nose. No, you haven't. You haven't got a fat nose or fat feet. You've got very slim feet. So they're fatter than they were. Oh. But thank you for the compliment. Thank I'll you. take it. She's putting it out there. She's putting the whole, the right you thing. You just put something spell. out there that I could spell. lose like a stone and a half in the two days. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> Menopause. Yeah. Menopause. Uh, anyway, that's a whole Samantha, other story. That's a whole other bed. story. We say goodbye to you and Bernice. Thank you, yeah. very, thank thank you, very, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.